they used to be harassed at their respective in-law space. So 498A became at that point of time non-billable and non-confoundable. So if the in-laws were being arrested, they were being asked to stay in the judicial custody or police custody for a certain period of time without getting paid. But later on, what happened was in due period of time, these laws started being abused to a very big extent. There were cases in high court where, you know, one of the cases was such a peculiar type of case of a, a, a lady who filed the complaint against, you know, the mother-in-law. Complaint was that the mother-in-law said that in the house, the uh, the old lady used to have Lakshmi Puja, like everyone's house, they basically have it. God knows she has a Puja Kara every week. She just said to her daughter-in-law that I am getting old. So you know, you know, better take up this particular Puja. I can't tell you to do Now that lady, she was not that much interested in Puja and all those things. She said, Ki, you know, uh, all these things are being uh, casted on me. And there are said this is a kind of a you know a physical torture and all other torture and went over there and filed a 498A. Think about that the, the, the mother-in-law, the father-in-law, all of them were behind bars. Cases like this finally saw, saw that when an actor group of Mohila their favorite legislation put the actor group of Mohila back to the wall for the But from later on, you know, mother-in-law started fearing on what ground again of the person comes up and brings up a 498A. So ultimately what happened was this. This on the recommendation when this law was being made within five years, that non billable part of it and non compoundable part of it again was changed. Now it is billable and now it is compoundable. So, as I am saying, it's, it's trial and error. On this point, look at the case of the all of these things that happened at Lord Macaulay, you know, he could not draft the Indian penal code in the right way. We cannot blame him because, you know, there are so called infringement of law which has come later on which could not be anticipated at that point of time. Things like your cyber crimes, things like, you know, the credit card frauds, think of 1860. 1860 was not the period of time when these types of things were invented, even computers were not there. So from where is this type of offense can be brought into mixture? Aro, aro, aro chuda 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 chuda, like, you know, uh, the concept related to stalking. There was a provision related to out, uh, outreach of modesty on a similar the honey which was there under section 354 Indian Penal Code. But later on it was found that even with the advent of computers, there are big group of people I mean, who started you know, stalking women uh, in public place, uh, physically